Good evening, everybody. One of the immediate effects of a tragedy is that people come together to mourn, they come together to heal, and most importantly, they come together to honor those who have been lost. And the sporting world is no exception. The K Christian basketball program, Steve Hawkins, Western Michigan Broncos, and even one of the K-Wings arch rivals among the many teams announcing plans to honor the victims of Saturday night's shootings. We begin over at Western. Steve Hawkins telling us today that his Broncos will wear special Kalamazoo Strong t-shirts during pregame of tomorrow night's matchup at Eastern Michigan. Here's a look at the plain white t-shirt which features bold black letters with gold trim. Hawkins says it was important for him and his team to show their immediate support for the people of Kalamazoo. It's certainly not anything to grab attention or anything else. It's, it's to make sure that the, the message gets out that we are a strong community. It's a community that helps each other through difficult times, and, and uh, we're certainly going to be there in any way, shape, or form we possibly can. But more than anything, uh, we just want to make sure that, that, um, that everybody knows how we feel about our community. Kalamazoo Christian, meanwhile, announcing a fundraiser tonight in honor of 17-year-old Matawan shooting victim Tyler Smith, who attended K Christian through the sixth grade. Christian students will be collecting donations at this evening's girls and boys varsity basketball doubleheader against Constantine to benefit the family of their former classmate. The seniors who would have been in Tyler's grade that, that knew Tyler here at Kalamazoo Christian decided they wanted to do something for the family, so they started passing the word to make, have a collection. Uh, buy some gift cards for the family. Uh, our kids feel for this. They they knew Tyler. Some of them, many of them did, and uh, they're trying to do something for the family. WMU football coach P.J. Fleck returned from his Hawaii wedding at roughly one o'clock on Saturday morning. Less than 24 hours later, Fleck realized he was once again all too close to a mass shooting in a college town. Back in 2008, Fleck was an assistant coach at Northern Illinois when a former NIU grad student shot multiple students in a crowded lecture hall, killing five and injuring another 21. Fleck, who had 200 high school players here in town on Saturday for Western Michigan's Junior Day, says he was incredibly concerned for the safety of those young athletes, along with his own players and coaching staff, when he learned that a gunman was loose in Kalamazoo. Well, the last one we actually heard was truly was the one by Sealy, and that's Stadium Drive. That's right here. And I don't know if there's a a place that you're driving by stadium and especially with the lights on the scoreboard on that you wouldn't sit there and go oh there's a place that has people walking uh, and uh, that was very scary but again horrific tragic and these things can happen anywhere and i think if anything they teach you is you need to live your life to the fullest every single day flex says he met with his players this morning about this weekend's tragedy and while the plan has not yet been finalized he says his team wants to do whatever it can to honor the victims the K-Wings in Toledo Walleye honoring the shooting victims with a moment of silence before yesterday's game in Ohio. The big story, though, was the incredible gesture made by the Walleye, who raffled off Sunday's game-worn jerseys and raised a whopping $8,400 with every dime of that money going to the family of this weekend's victims. You look at their organization and they're wearing Kalamazoo shirts, they're wearing Hockey Heritage shirts from our Kalamazoo weekend and they're really supporting and embracing it and then our players standing side by each and um, just showing that, you know, that we're going to live on and we're going to fight on in Kalamazoo with our great community. The Western Michigan hockey team raised over $10,000 during Saturday night's Ice Duchenne benefit game against Miami. Now the team is planning on how best to honor the shooting victims during this weekend series against Denver. That according to head coach Andy Murray, who also said he delivered the following message to his players. We're in the real world. You know, I mean, Kalamazoo is just a tremendous place to live. The quality we have, life that we have here is second to none. But you have to be alert. You have to keep your eyes open. You have to make sure you realize this is the world that we live in. And, you know, somebody can do an act like this in a whim. And you just, uh, and then sometimes there's nothing that can be done to prevent it. Kalamazoo's most famous athletes also weighing in on the tragedy. Derek Jeter's foundation releasing the following statement. Derek and the Turn 2 Foundation stand with the community of Kalamazoo during this difficult time. Our hearts and thoughts are with those affected by this senseless act. We know the spirit and determination of those in our hometown, and we will not let this destroy our dream of building a brighter future or the progress we have made together. 
Miami Dolphins receiver and Kalamazoo native Greg Jennings taking to Twitter tonight to express his sentiments. Jennings saying in part, quote, on behalf of our community, my thoughts and prayers are with the victims that we lost in the tragic Kalamazoo shootings from last weekend. Let us not forget the victims who survived. May God provide strength and healing for our community to overcome and provide restoration and peace. It's nice to hear. It is. You think of the athletes who've called Kalamazoo home, whether it was for the short term or long term, and many of them aren't here anymore, Derek Jeter, Greg Jennings, but it's like they never leave. You never, never, ever forget your hometown. Oh. I talked to Greg's father, Pastor Jennings, today, and Greg, you know, obviously terribly affected by this, as is everybody. It's surreal. It was horrific. and It's tough. Andy, thank, thank you. you.